Hello again. Now I will start discussing very quickly one very important process which now I am working on it that is the zero neutrino double beta decay. Okay. Okay. This process occurs in the following situation if we have one nucleus one initial nucleus here here we have the number of of uh, protons and here we have another nucleus which has set up plus one nucleus and another nucleus which this has two extra protons okay if they are isovars they have the same number of, of protons and neutrons but they have different values of protons if on this axis we have the mass this process which I will draw here from here to here is not allowed okay it's, it's forbidden this process but if you go to here this process is not forbidden, it's allowed. But this initial nucleus okay and this final nucleus uh, this has two extra protons and should be uh, the number of neutrons should be le two less and with the same so if we ask about this process which I wrote here from this is uh, theoretically this process is allowed and when this process occurs we assume that should emit two electrons plus two neutrinos but we okay this process that I brought here is the two neutrinos double beta decay but when it's not when they don't emit neutrinos when this when we emit the the emission of neutrinos and only emit electrons we call that like zero neutrino double beta decay so now we are interested to research if it's identify some process which has this property which they don't emit neutrinos and they only emit electrons this process was very well studied uh, very well by also by Fermi but was uh, more studied by Maria Meyer Copenmeyer 